Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to check out what's in my bag. Let's get started. Today I'm going to show you what I take in my bag, my trumpet case, every single day. So whenever I leave this house, pretty much, if I'm taking my trumpet, this is the bag that I take almost every single time. It's this configuration almost every single time. It's my most used instruments and the stuff that I use every single day. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is the bag itself. This is, as you'll see in my camera too up here, this is the Guard Guard Gig Bag. It's the Guard Triple Compact Triple uh, Compact Triple. Compact Triple. That's what this one is. And surprising, it fits so much stuff in here. It's got a little name tag, which I think is amazing. I'll keep little business cards in there so that people can find me. I like leather. Leather seems to last longer. Um, no, it does last longer. It's worth paying the extra money for leather, especially if you're going to use it every day like I do. Sometimes I can wear through bags and gig bags pretty quickly um, because they just get used all the time. I've had this one for uh, 18 months now, about 18 months, and I love this one. It's holding up really, really well. It's staying in good condition, and it gets used every single day, rain, hail, or shine. So, now, first things first. Zips, zips are nice and durable, which I love. Right, to open up these two pouches here, you have to undo the top part, where you, the trumpet compartment sort of thing. I don't normally keep much in this little part very often, but sometimes if it does fit music. I fit like A4 music in here, so it's good worth, worth having. But I usually use the bigger compartment here because I take this handy thing. This is my iPad. It's the 20, uh, the 12.9 inch iPad. And I pretty much keep all of my music on this. Got a little cover for it for here. And I've got the magic keyboard, the floating, the floating one. So floating keyboard, the Apple Pencil is a must for musicians. Now I use this for practically all of my on the go sort of stuff. Little nice little sticker. I'm still customizing this. It's a new addition to me. I was using the Microsoft Surface for age and I loved it, but it was just a bit too small. Um, so I've uh, gone to a slightly bigger screen size for reading music. I have all of my music on here. All right. If I've got something that I teach, if I'm teaching stuff, I've got scanned copies of it on here for most of it, most of my stuff. I usually scan it before I take it into work. Opening it up. All right, so as I said, this is the triple gig bag. My combination that I use every single day. I've got my B flat, C, and piccolo. Let's get started with the B flat. So my B flat trumpet, as I slide it out there, and I keep in the bell, one of these Hercules stands. Now these stands, these are pretty good. Just folds up like this. Now I love the fact that it's got the five prongs. The five prong over the three prong is a huge deal winner. Like the, the um, Hercules only make this one in a, in a five prong, but I've got other stands like K&M stands that have got three prongs. The five prong stand is the way to go. I take this one, the Hercules one. It's it's not necessarily the best stand or the most durable stand, but it's small. It folds up nice and small. It's lightweight, even though it's metal. Um, and I find that on my C trumpet especially, this one fits better. The big K and M ones they fit nicely for my B flat trumpet, my big horn. But my C trumpet, they kind of get stuck a little bit so it's a little bit too small for the um, my C trumpet bell is a little bit too small for them so I want to avoid that so trumpet my stand goes inside the B flat because the bigger bell thing my trumpet is the Stomvi Titan Stomvi Titan Stomvi Titan four vowel one two three four which is really cool I've been playing this one for a little while and Gorgeous trumpet. I love playing this trumpet. I play this. This is my main B flat trumpet. I use this for, if I'm playing B flat trumpet, this is the one I use. I don't have any others other than a collector's Mount Vernon, but I don't, I don't like to use it because I want to preserve it. I do have one maxi clapper on my third valve, which I really like. Um, some people have them on the first and fourth and use two. 
But I bought two and I've liked it on my third valve and I keep the other one on my C trumpet as you'll see in a minute. All right, next up, let's go C trumpet. So my C trumpet is, let me grab it out. My C trumpet is also a Stomvi. This is the Stomvi Titan as well. This is only the three valve. I have my maxi clapper on my third valve here. Now, this configuration is the 23, 23? The 23 um, Bell Flex Bell. I've been playing this one for a couple of years, about four years now, right? Thanks. Love this trumpet. This was the trumpet that made me decide to change all of my instruments to Stomvi. Love this trumpet. So, put that one down here. Now, as you'll notice, the way that I packed this bag is really important. Underneath the bell, I'll show you how I did it. Alright, so underneath the bell here, because there's a bit of space in here, is where I keep some important things as well. A little bit of storage. So, on the top, I have the up sound in a little up sound pouch. Up sound. That is something that I also really love. I do my mouthpiece buzzing on that every single day. Whenever I'm mouthpiece buzzing, I'm using this. This just changes the resistance up, um, changes the resistance from the mouthpiece, so it feels a little bit more similar to playing the trumpet, but I really enjoy the up sound. It's worth checking out if you haven't already. So I keep that underneath the bell, my C trumpet, and I've got a little pencil case little pencil case like this, right? Teaching, you need pens, you need pencils, you need highlighters, glue sticks, rubbers, textures, oops, all of that sort of normal pencil cases type stuff. Now the way that I set that up in the trumpet case, as I'll show you on top here, so if that's, that's the top of the case, that's the bottom, I'll line that up like that. And that goes in like that as well. So this goes in like this, just like it's protective sort of foam padding. And I find that it doesn't scratch my trumpet. It sits nice and snug in the case like that. Keeps a, yeah, so it works well, right? Finding a bit of extra storage in this case. Onto my Piccolo trumpet. Now, once again, it is the Stomvi Titan Piccolo trumpet. This is the four valve. I've been enjoying this one. I've had this one for, um, yeah, about a year. I've actually had this one a year, a bit longer than I expected. I have a little trick for you as well. This is the K&M. This is a K&M clarinet stand. And it just works nicely for the piccolo trumpet. So it screws together. Like that. Kind of vibe. Sits beautifully. So I use the K&M clarinet stand for my piccolo trumpet. And I store that in the bell. And the reason I store that in the bell is so that I can look after my bell from potentially getting a little bit of a ding. It just helps secure that a little bit. Try and find some space on this table. All right, now the other thing I keep in here as well is a couple other things. The Wonder Boom speaker. This comes in really, really handy. A little Bluetooth speaker. The number of times if I'm teaching a kid some improvisation and I want backing tracks, or even if I'm just using a backing track, this speaker, Bluetooth speaker, connects to my iPad, connects to my phone. Really handy bit of kit to have. And it's really small. The battery lasts ages. It's also waterproof and pretty uh, pretty here. It's uh, the Ultimate Ears by Ultimate Ears. That's great, fantastic little speaker for travel purposes. All right, now just grab these out. Always keep a little rag. An old hanky is a must because you've got your valve oil and all that sort of stuff. So for valve oil, I'm using, whoops, stickers are going everywhere. Number one, Hetman's number one. And there are two slide greases I use and I've, um, at the moment. I've got I do use another one, but I don't, I've run out of it. So I've got the four, which I use on my first and third valve slides, these ones, to keep them moving quickly. And then I use the number seven on my main tuning slide and my second valve slide. I also like to use the number five, which works awesome on my, uh, the number five slide grease on my piccolo trumpet third valve slide as well. It just sits nicely, 
for me and that trumpet. So I keep those in here. I like to keep them in a little snap lock bag because as you can see, these sometimes they leak a little bit and they get a little bit greasy. So I keep them inside a snap lock bag to prevent them from leaking everywhere if they were to come open. They've not come open, but I do get little leaks and having them in the snap lock bag is really important to protect the inside of my case and so I don't get grease everywhere. I also have a polishing cloth. Um, a polishing cloth is a polishing cloth in my eyes. Um, I normally have a cheese colored one, but these Stomvy ones work really well. They came with my trumpets. They're still going. Another snap lock bag for business cards and Nurofen or ibuprofen. I keep ibuprofen. Um, I try not to take drugs too often, but um, yeah, so every now and then, so every now and then my chops might swell up. Um, I might bump myself in the mouth. My kid might headbutt me accidentally and um, my chops will swell up. Ibuprofen for me, um, I can take a couple of ibuprofen, it reduces the swelling on my chops and I'll get through the gig without any worries. Well, relatively without any worries. It's just a scapegoat to get me through. I've probably had that for six months and only taken two of them. And then I also have in here, all right, I'll take this one out. All right, in amongst with a couple of foam padding things in here. I also have the guard mouthpiece pouch. This one's a one, two, three, four, four mouthpiece pouch in here. And I keep my mouthpiece brush really handy. I've got an extra shank. But my main mouthpieces are this one here, which is the park. This one's a park. I use this one in my C trumpet. Uh, it's the park. It's a 650 rim with a 650 to 280 by 24 uh, cup, and I have a 24 orchestral uh, back bore as well. I use that on my pickle. Uh, my I use that on my C trumpet. My B flat trumpet mouthpiece is the Stomvi Flex. This is with the coupler. It's a one. Uh, 1.25 D VR. Um, so it's basically a one and a quarter C mouthpiece, but a little bit different um, with couplers. It's got the five back bore, and I use the 4.5 coupler. Now, exactly what these mean, I don't really know. I'm not a numbers guy. It feels good to play. It's it was a little bit different to what I used to play, which was a standard one and a quarter, but I needed a slightly bigger back bore. This suited it really nicely. Now, my piccolo trumpet mouthpiece, at the moment I am using a Warburton 3SV, which is quite shallow, and I'm using an S10 back bore for that one as well. This one's working relatively well. It's a little bit on the small side. I might go a little bit bigger at some stage soon. Who knows, but that's working really well for me. This one's on the cornet shank um, because I'm enjoying the cornet shank on the piccolo at the moment on my Stomvi. And this one here is the trumpet mouthpiece I use in my rotary trumpet. Um, and it's a it's just a Bark 1B, right? Haven't played much rotary recently. I used to have my flugel mouthpiece in here, but my flugel doesn't fit in this case. So. And that's all in a guard leather pouch, which works beautifully. It came separately to my case. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to put it together again. Just slide those in there. All right, grab my B flat trumpet, grab my stand. Slides in nicely. Put that in there. Give it a lift. Right, in goes that. Grab my piccolo trumpet in with the spout. All right, you see it's nice and snug. Nice and snug. That slides in there like that. And that's why I have the, the you can see this is why I have the bell, uh, the stand in the bell to protect it with that. These go in here, nice and snug. In goes my iPad. Zip it up. 
Alright. One of the other things that I forgot to mention that I really love about this guard case is it has side handle, top handle, I can attach a clips for my, um, I can put my, put my, um, on here I can clip my mute bag, I've got shoulder straps that go on the backs here, but I use it primarily as a backpack with the backpack straps. Really love having this. It does get a little bit heavy sometimes from how much stuff I've got in here, especially with the iPad, that chews up a bit of weight. But I carry this around with me every single day. There's a couple of things that I don't carry in here that go with me everywhere though. The first one is my water bottle. The one I'm carrying at the moment is one um, for a company, a sound company that I work for as well, Event Sound. Work with these guys, and they got these bottles that are really cool. I like the colors, really cool colors. So I carry that with me everywhere, and I also carry my coffee cup, Campos Australian coffee maker, and I carry this with me everywhere. Normally, because I take a coffee, a coffee from home, and it goes in this from Clean Canteen. Go, I take this with me, and then when I get to work, I'll rinse it out, make another coffee, or drink my cuppers out of this for the rest of the day. So that is what is in my bag for this year of 2021. I have had the same bag for the last 18 months. I've had the same setup for the last 18 months. The only thing that has changed is I have changed my computer. I don't carry my, uh, I don't carry my big computer anymore. I just take my iPad and it gets what I need done while I'm on the go. I can write some music. I can do some arranging, I can edit a little bit of video, I can do some filming, I can mark off the roll. That's such an important thing as a teacher, as a as a music teacher, um, teaching one-on-one -on -one instrumental, I need to be able to mark off my roll, and I also need to keep notes as well. I keep notes on all of my students so I know what they're working on, how they're making progress, what goals they're setting, and that kind of stuff as well. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you haven't already, hit subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more trumpet-related videos. And, as always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia, and happy practicing.